What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how we can optimize our website loading times, improve the speed and performance and get better results in testing tools like GT Metrics for example in a free, simple and effective way using the Lightspeed WordPress plugin, Catch plugin for free, okay? This is a very good plugin, okay? After some updates it became a um, really, really good one to catching our site to improving the speed have a lot of nice features and it's not that hard to use okay so it's simple and in today's video we're gonna learn how to install set it up enable catch and use this plugin for free but before i can continue please take a moment to hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content if a friend of yours have no idea how much it helps us because we bring daily videos about wordpress seo optimizations plugins and many more topics in order to use internets on your site's favor after this mate let's move to our wordpress dashboard okay and review the left sidebar of menus scroll down until you can see the plugins field hold your mouse over it and click on add new okay once you are right here you can see into the upper right corner a field next to keyword called search plugins and right here we're gonna type light speed this is the plugin as you can see it's active in 4 million wordpress websites okay so it's a very well used plugin it's all in one understandable acceleration and page speed improvement caching plugin okay so click on install click on activate button this is gonna redirect us to the plugins list on our WordPress website where you can see all of the plugins present on the site and if you scroll the page down you can see the light speed cache we can deactivate and move to settings okay and if you review, if you scroll it down just a little bit more and review the left sidebar of menus, you can see a new button next to settings on your WordPress dashboard, call it light speed catch. We can go to right here, so click on it. And this is the um, dashboard, okay? You can see the dashboard, we have a, a cloud server in the case that you want to enable our site to a cloud, okay? This is, isn't very needed but it can be done we can see some presets we have essential we have basic advanced that is the recommended one the aggressive and the extreme okay so what i can do right here it's very very simple all we have to do in the case that i want to activate the advanced okay that is the recommended one this preset is good for most websites and it's unlikely to cause conflicts. And CSS and JS, okay? So, what you can do? In the case that you want to apply this preset, instead of going to every setting one by one, all you have to do is click right here, apply preset. Okay. The setting now it's already enabled okay so we have applied all of these settings so if i move right here to the catch option into the light speed i can see the catch control settings already present and working just fine okay they used to show you these messages okay to enable into a server you have no need for it okay in the especially in the case that you already have a cloud server for example the cloud flare so no need to worry about it okay so enable catch catch login catch comments rest api login favicon this is really important okay php resources also really important catch mobile this is really really important mobile user agents okay so the sets the good presets it's already made for you can we do as more things of course the ttl okay it's already enabled and set up for us the purge okay purge all on upgrade 
We have things to exclude from the catch in the case that you do not want to catch some page, for example, some content. In the case that you have, for example, a forum on our WordPress website, the ASC, okay? Object cache, okay? This is really, really important, okay? So you can enable this. If you go to the aggressive method, you're probably gonna be enabling this. But normally it comes as no. You can set on to check out what happens, okay? Save change. What else you can do? The browser. The browser cache is a really, really important. This issue used to appear in a lot of web optimization tests. So browser cache, make sure that you have this as on and the cache TTL. The number right here, it's okay, okay? So seconds weeks, days, hours, okay, so make sure that you set this as on and we have some advanced settings, okay, so cookies, the HTTP requests and the instant click, nothing right here to worry about, but after this, your site is already optimized, it takes a minute to, to redo the test, so wait some moments, do the test once again and check the results and let me know into the comments if this helps your site speed, if it helps on the, your GT metrics test, in your Google page speed insights test, okay? And that is, you have your site optimized and working just fine for free. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our Borderless WordPress plugin in order to gain more widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg page builder editors. So, moreover, in the case that I need of the best free WordPress team, go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance, themes, add new, search for Enzo WordPress team. It's the best free WordPress team that you can download, gonna give you amazing menu customization options, footer customization options, pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, and many more options for free. And finally, in the case that you want your website up and running faster, your landing page converting faster, Feel free to count on our support, open the access to our templates library, premium icon packages, blocks, templates, and many more tools. Go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass that includes Enzo Pro and Borders Pro, and go premium. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!